Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Unsurprisingly, um, Croatia prepares to give uh, Ukraine 14 helicopters, military helicopters. Okay, well, why unsurprisingly? Because that's the way the scheme works. You give Ukraine uh, um, your helicopters that are old, <clears throat> and we give you new ones. You will get loans with interest, you pay us, we get uh, our uh, uh, weapons manufacturing companies make uh, helicopters, that means having jobs and making profit, we pay from the defense budget from the our taxpayers, so we get money from the taxpayers, we are doing okay, we pay the guys who eventually will uh, provide our elected officials with some, you know, campaign donations, which is legal. These guys make a profit, then have everything good. They send it to you. You get a loan, pay for these helicopters. Your citizens will be taxed more. They have to pay the loans and you will give the helicopters to Ukraine you will look as being a very, very, very virtuous country and you are gonna be our, continue to be our vassal state. Ukraine will have those 14 helicopters. Ukraine's will, Ukraine will use it to uh, fight against the Russians. So, you got it? So that's the way it works. When you see this uh, former, um, how should I put them? Let's put them different. Eastern European and Central European countries, like, you know, Poland, uh, get the Baltic states, I haven't heard of Romania yet, uh, in this case Croatia, giving weapons to uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, giving weapons to Ukraine. They give it only after the West promised, West United States promised to give them uh, their products, you know, created by the, their uh, military industrial complex. Okay, and when they do this, I told you who's winning and I will tell you who's losing. The Russians are losing, right? But they are bad dudes, so you know what I mean. Then the population of, in this case, Croatia is losing. They can feel virtuous, but uh, they will live a, a worse life and their children too, because they have to pay the, repay the loans. I don't think they have the money to buy those things from their profits. The arms manufacturing uh, companies, they make a profit. They have, uh, uh, how do you call it, orders, so they will uh, uh, honor them. The politicians in both areas will be A-OK, -okay, United States of America, and in Croatia will be sound because they will be protected and they will have no, they will not be threatened with any regime change or anything like that. So they will be like, good boy, good boy, here's a piece of sugar for you. now." go when i ask you to come back you come back wiggling your little uh, tail the politicians in the united states they do the same thing making sure that the military industrial complex goes strong and then these companies will provide uh, support for elections you know that's um, campaign donations they are okay then the military industrial complex is all for profit uh, profits out of this oh who, who else I, I i told you two three Three entities are losing, I would say. One, Russians. Two, the Croatian uh, people, the U.S. population. But if you look at it differently, the way they want us to look at it, by providing Ukraine with weapons, you will actually protecting your lives from Russian, Russian imaginary, uh, I'm sorry, possible invasion of Croatia, then, uh, you know, Czech Republic, then Germany, then France, then uh, uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, then gonna conquer the Atlantic Ocean. It's gonna be at your doorstep tomorrow by 6 a.m. It's gonna kick your door in, I'm gonna get your, get your wife outside, send it to the department of uh, uh, baby making. You're gonna take your children in slavery and you, 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 you. So this is what you're supposed to be afraid. This is what you're supposed to believe is gonna happen next. The evidence, pah, we tell you. You gotta believe us. Why? Because we're good. Because we're good. So let's read this little article here, coming from Ukrainska Pravda. Croatia prepares to send 14 Mi-8 helicopters to Ukraine. Good for you. 
February 25, 2023. Croatia is planning to provide Ukraine with 14 Mi-8 helicopters which have been taken out of its army's service. All right, so I guess it's just a, you know, a goodwill thing. Now, if, you, if these were taken out of service, can I ask why? It's because they're not good, but if they're not good, how can you give it to Ukraine? They're gonna be operated by pilots, by people. Don't you expose those people to certain death? So if you consider that that's unacceptable for you anymore, then uh, why would you give it to someone else? Why would that be acceptable for them? Because they will take anything just because? Okay, that's, a, that, that's one philosophy. Or because you're just going to do what I said um, before, and that is uh, providing some, uh, <clears throat> you know what I mean, new uh, military equipment like this one right here all right it's hoping all right let's read this article so uh, Ju jutanji list reported that 12 mi8m tb1 and two mi8t helicopters have been taken out of the croatian armed forces services now this uh, jutanji whatever is a croatian daily newspaper because i say what is this jumanji what is it they were taken out. Okay, the, make, the marking is currently being removed from the helicopters, which are being repaired at the Aeronautical Aeronautical Technical Center in Velika Gorica or Gorica. Uh, the newspaper list, the, the newspaper, this is a new newspaper, whatever that is, daily newspaper, said the helicopters might be ready to be transported to Ukraine in around 10 days. Fantastic. Journalists reported that seven of the helicopters will be partially dis <laughs> disassembled, disassembled and delivered by land and the other seven will be flown to Poland. The Croatian government has, said has yet to confirm the information about providing MI-8 helicopters to Ukraine. Information about military aid to Ukraine has been classified by the government as being close to, the public, to public access. I wonder why. Now, background. Jutarjni List reported in July that the Croatian government was set to approve a decision to provide 14 Soviet-made helicopters to Ukraine, hoping to receive more modern Black Hawk helicopters from the US. Got that? Got that? Okay, so it's not that they scraped them because they were not good, but because make room for these ones. Okay, well, you can't blame them. You know what I mean? You can't blame them, but... Uh, in, in a certain way, uh, if they think of their defense, okay, you can say, well, you know what, we're, uh, we're arming ourselves, we're uh, getting better equipment. Well, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. But if you choose to think only the first step and uh, pretend that you are a sixth grader, okay, that, that, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Because we're good, we're helping the Ukrainians and uh, the good Americans help us help meaning for free and you know and they give us this and we give them over there and we're the good people fighting the bad people of russia because we are on the good people's side which is united states of america which is a good country with a good alliance and we're good people basically so you can feel better about yourself whatever you did today is washed away because you feel better that you give ukraine helicopters so if you choose to do that, that's fine, that's fine. But remember that is gonna, this kind of mentality, this kind of, this kind of a sixth grader will turn against you because something's gonna happen like, hey, remember the uh, pandemic? Well, you wanna study that one. And the same, if you just stop to the first step where they want them, they, where they want you to stop with your thinking, say sixth grader then yes everything is good and they can do whatever they want with you and with us but at least you know who's who what's what at least you can you know comment with others you have to you have to challenge those guys otherwise they will keep doing what they're doing getting more power and more power and more control and guess uh who do they control you and i so do you like that i know a lot of people like that i gotta tell you direct experience direct experience a lot of people like to be led like to be protected 
by the government. A lot of people believe that that's really what the whole purpose of that uh, entity over there exists. And it might look good on the paper, on paper, but in reality, they never lied to you, you know, they never did anything, anything, no, no, never been corrupted. I mean, don't tell me, hey, Emil, nothing is perfect, okay? Well, that is true, that is true. But on the other hand, if you continue to blindly believe this garbage that you're fed, that's fine. The problem, the problem is let others at least think and express themselves. But it seems like, or, you know, uh, have their say, stupid or not stupid, let them do that. But it seems like they're trying to protect you from wrong information. Wrong information being um, something that runs against what they tell us is the truth. So that's even scarier. And what are you going to do? Are you going to try the crazies? Or are you going to try the government telling you that those are the crazies? You're going to try, you're going to believe that those are the crazies. And those, those people might be your fellow citizens. Yeah, it's okay because you still have your beer, you have your TV stupid show, you have somehow you're protected. You don't need to think, the government will think for you. So you're good, you're good, you have a good life at your little warm uh, uh, level, more like, like this. That's, and that's fine, but some other people are, you know, evolved beyond being a warm. The problem is you vote, the same as the other ones vote. So we got a problem, so how can we fix that? Maybe by drinking more beer, getting some or whatever, watching those stupid shows and uh, uh, refusing to think. Because to think it seems like it's, it's, an, it's a mark of a courageous person. You need courage to think. Uh, you need courage to express yourself, but doesn't, uh, uh, you know, um, thinking requires energy. More energy is here than working out and running. But hey, that's why people refuse to think probably. It is more effort. They like to, you know, enjoy life. Well, enjoy life as a servant? Well, I don't think they perceive it as such. So, remember? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.